Did you know the largest wind turbine in the world can actually power 21,000 homes? Well, now a company is building out the world's largest wind farm with wind turbines that are 370 meters tall that could potentially power an entire city. Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. As you know, I love renewable energy and there's amazing things happening. A lot of the public, a lot of the media has perpetuated the idea and all the public believes that wind turbines are not efficient. That is 100% false. The technology advances the world has made to wind turbine technology has made them one of the most efficient ways to generate electricity. In fact, they're far more efficient than coal power in any country in the world. Any country with wind, that is. Now, this new wind farm is being built offshore where it's super, super windy outside of Sweden. Stockholm-based wind farm and solar developer OX2 has applied for a permit to build a massive 5.5 gigawatt offshore wind farm in the Baltic Sea. If this is approved, which it will, it will be the largest single offshore wind farm anywhere in the world. That is exciting news. Orsted's Horn Sea in the North Sea has 7.5 gigawatt of total capacity, but it's made up of four separate offshore wind farms. The Swedish offshore wind farm, this new one, which will be called Aurora, will be bigger than the 4.8 gigawatt Dogger Bank, which is off the Yorkshire coast in the UK and it's going to be completed in 2026. So this new wind farm will be bigger than the Dogger Bank wind farm. Aurora will be sited in the Swedish economic zone, about 20 kilometers or 12.4 miles from the island of Gotland and 30 kilometers or 18.6 miles from the island of Åland. I'm sure I didn't pronounce those correctly. Sorry to my Swedish viewers and friends. Maybe you can let us know in the comment section below how to pronounce those correctly. This 18 billion US dollar offshore wind farm will feature up to 370 turbines with a maximum height of 370 meters each or 1,213 feet. That's crazy. That's like taking a 400 meter running track, stretching it out to its end. And that's where you get the top of this turbine. I mean, that is so high. Imagine how, imagine how scary that would be doing maintenance on one of those things being 400 meters up in the air. I mean, if you fell from the top of that tower and you hit the water, it would literally be like hitting concrete. You would die instantly on impact with the water. For perspective, the Empire State Building is 381 meters tall or 1,250 feet. So this is almost exactly the same height as the Empire State Building. However, there will be 370 of these. So it's sort of like 370 Empire State Buildings sitting out in the ocean. They look a lot prettier than an Empire State Building though, I think, but that's just my take. Now, the OX2 does not indicate which wind turbines it will use in its announcement. The tallest turbines currently available are 242 meters high and made by Ming Yang Smart Energy. I reported on the tallest turbine in the world. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. If you want to see the tallest turbine in the world, click on that. If you don't, Keep on listening. Here's where it gets mind-blowing, says the electric. Aurora's electricity production will be about 24 terawatt hours per year. That's enough to power 5 million households. In other words, this single wind farm could power all of Melbourne, all of Victoria it could power. It's insane. It could power pretty much all of, all of Sydney. It could power, you know, greater metropolitan Los Angeles. It's insane. This represents 17% of the total electric consumption in Sweden per year. That is ludicrous. I love this, these numbers from the electric. Thank you guys for providing this information. Now put this in context, right? Sweden only needs basically five of these, five of these wind farms to power the entire country. Five to power an entire country. That is where we are headed. The wind farm's first phase of construction will begin in 2028. Aurora is expected to start producing energy in 2030. OX2 notes that it has previously applied for a Natura 2000 permit for Aurora. As the European Commission's website explains, Natura 2000 sites have been designated specifically to protect core areas for a subset of species of habitat types listed in the Habitats and Birds Directives. Now, it is a big concern for a lot of people that wind turbines kill birds or birds die when they 
fly into wind turbines. This does happen. It is true. It's just an unavoidable reality that we have to accept as part of producing clean energy. As of the end of the first quarter of 2022, OX2 has 12 gigawatt hours of renewable energy projects currently in development in Sweden. Now, remarkably, Sweden doesn't really need five of these wind farms. They don't need them at all. Here's the reason. Sweden already produces more than 66% of its electricity from renewable sources. So, these 17% alone will put them over the 80% mark. More than likely, by the time this is built out by 2030, the entire country of Sweden will have an excess amount of energy. It will be an energy exporter because it will have more renewable energy than it will be able to use. And this will actually be a similar situation in many countries around the world who are currently building out large renewable scale projects with plans to export energy. In fact, there's a number of African countries also planning on similar projects. Now, to give you more context of this, the amount of power this wind farm generates will be close to 1% of all of Europe's electric consumption per year. 1% of all of Europe's electric needs per year coming from one single wind farm. This really shows you what is possible with renewable energy today, and in particular with these amazing new wind turbines being built out offshore where there's tremendous amounts of wind. And I think this goes to show what I've been saying on this channel for a long time now. Renewable energy is coming much faster than we previously thought it would. Coal companies are shutting down. For example, right, a Tesla big battery pack just replaced the last remaining coal power generation plant in Hawaii. Coal is finished in Hawaii now, thanks to renewable energy. Thank you for watching. Remember, the world is getting better every day. You might not hear about it because the news is constantly telling you negative stories. Stay tuned to this channel and I'll update you with what's really going on. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.